I'm doing another computer recommendation video with a bunch of specs, just like the old times. Thanks to WhoKeys for sponsoring this video. You can get 25% off Windows and Office with coupon code TS25. So they've got Windows 10 Pro, they've got Home, you've got Windows 11, Office 2021, 2019, and this is the one I use, 2016, because it still works very well. Putting in coupon code TS25, click apply, and then watch these prices come down. Wonderful. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, and then you'll see everything you've purchased right there. Just view keys and codes, and you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. You know, I never liked how Microsoft has different prices for different people. If you're a home user, you're gonna pay 10 times more than an OEM builder or a corporation or something like that. And that's why I like heading to places like whokeys.com to get the OEM keys so I can pay a price that makes sense. So thanks to them for sponsoring and now to our regularly scheduled program. Why am I doing this? I thought, you know, people watch my videos. I've been swearing off hardware. I'm doing all, all a whole bunch of hardware all of a sudden. I'm not anti-consumer, I'm anti-nonsense. And right now is the best time to buy if you need things. Don't buy things if you don't need things. You know, if, you, if you're happy and your games are running fine, you know, you're getting 120 FPS, you don't need to upgrade to get 150 FPS. You know what I mean? But for people who are ready to upgrade and don't want to spend a lot of money, that's what I want to make the video for. Everyone's doing hypey videos on like $4,000 graphics cards and stuff like that. And yes, those are fun to watch if you're into the hardware and you're just like, whoa! But that's not what this is about. This is about making something that's practical, affordable, and will let you play a lot of the games that you want to play and do a lot of the stuff that you want to do on your computer without being too ridiculously expensive. And the way we do that is by looking at the products from the previous generation, because once AMD and Nvidia and Intel and stuff, they release their new stuff because they're always releasing new stuff every 10 minutes and they want you to buy only the new stuff and they have a whole bunch of the old stuff just sitting there well they've got to get rid of it so we're seeing like 50 percent off on ridiculously good cpus this cpu is extremely good for gaming like this is like 250 dollars worth of gaming per performance and you're getting it for 158 so the prices on these amd cpus these things right now it's ridiculous. I just got the, the G version, 5600G, so I could build a computer like you saw in the last video with integrated graphics. But if you're not using integrated graphics, this one's slightly faster, 4.6 gigahertz it tops out at, as opposed to the 4.4 gigahertz. It comes with an adequate cooler unless you want to do overclocking, which this one this one can be overclocked. Um, have, I've had okay success with this. If you're not going to overclock, and you don't care about a little bit of a whirring noise, you can hear this one a little bit. It's not bad, but it does ramp up and down. You know, like you'll hear it, like it'll go and then it'll stop and then it'll stop and then it'll stop and then it'll stop. So it's a little bit annoying. If you're, if you've got it on your desk, don't put your computer on your desk. I can make a video on that too one day. Anyway, you can get this one. And if you're not overclocking, you know, don't use a CPU cooler, but I still would recommend getting the motherboard, I usually look at the B550M. Now, if you want to save a little money, you can get like a B320 or something like from an older generation. It'll be very similar in performance and you can get them for like 50, 60 bucks. You'll just need to make sure that they support the new Ryzen 5 series and, you know, like CPUs. Um, you know, that has to, that means it has to be like revision three or whatever it needs to say that it supports the new stuff. So just make sure that you get one with a new UEFI or a new BIOS. This one uh, is going to support it just fine. And that's why I recommend that. Plus it's also loaded with features. And I really like the layout of the board for a few different reasons. First off, we have some nice cooling here on the V-Regs. If you wanted to do a little bit of overclocking, you can. Um, and then we have four RAM slots. So if you get two sticks of RAM now and decide, hey, I'm doing a lot of editing, video editing, graphic editing, I'm working on a video game, whatever, you can always expand your memory with a couple more of the same, the same memory modules. And then down here we have our graphics card slot which will go over top of the M.2 slot and that's shielded from the heat. So that'll keep it a little cooler. And then if your GPU is a huge one, like a two and a half slot, it'll cover that. But you still have this on the bottom. So that's what I like about this is you still have expandability, even if you have a huge graphics card that is gonna go on top of all of this. So I think you really can't go wrong with this motherboard. It's got, you know, a lot of stuff that you need. 
doesn't have a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't need. You know, it's, it's missing a couple of bells and whistles here and there, but it pretty much will cover 90% of what most people are gonna do with their computers. And then next up for the operating system, this is a really good deal right now for the Western Digital Black. This is the SN770. It's an NVMe M.2 and the 500 gigabyte model is plenty for Windows. You know, if, if I got this, I would probably get a secondary storage drive for all of my games or whatever, but even the one terabyte drive is not extremely expensive at $100. So they're, it's a really good deal right now, you know, but I would probably recommend getting this one and using it as your primary C drive. And then for your secondary, get something like this. This is a 7200 RPM. I guess it's also a Western Digital, um, but this is an internal spinning disk hard drive. It's, it's slower, but all that means is that the loading in your game will take a little bit longer but you can store a lot more data on this. And once you've loaded up, you know, and your level has loaded or whatever, it's not gonna impact the performance of the game at all. So totally fine there. Maybe I'll come and hang out with you all. How's that? Now for the memory, I have a couple different options. If you're doing primarily gaming, then you can get this kit. It's 3600 megahertz, which is good for the AMD you know the AMD CPUs they like a little more frequency. It will actually give you better performance by a few FPS in games, which isn't much, but you know, it, it can make a bit of a difference. Now this is 16 gigabytes for $50. If you're planning on doing more productivity stuff, CAD work, um, or you wanna like edit games and stuff like that, or edit videos or whatever, you might want a little bit more memory. So get 32 gigabytes. Now the compromise is, is it's 3200 megahertz. So this will actually be a couple of FPS slower in games when compared to this. I know it's weird because this is, you know, you've got, 16 gigabytes versus 32 gigabytes but the frequency does matter with this stuff so that's what i would get and this clev volt memory is is pretty good stuff too now let's talk about graphics cards the msi rx 6600 just the amd rx 6600 um, is a really good deal right now and we also have the xt now the difference in the 6600 and the 6600 X xt are sometimes 10 to 20 percent depending on the game so if you can afford, you know, pay a little bit more, the XT is awesome. This is more along the lines of a 3060 Ti, which is an amazing graphics card. It'll play the modern AAA games at 1080p, no problem. This one will too, 60 to 80 FPS, depending on the modern AAA game and the settings that you're running at 1080p or even 1440p for a lot of games. And the thing is, is that these are substantially cheaper when compared to the, uh, the NVIDIA 3060 and the NVIDIA 3060 Ti, and they're both faster than the 3060 and the 6600 xt is usually faster than the 3060 ti and it's substantially less expensive they just like you're going to spend an extra 100 bucks to get the 3060 ti that can do some rtx if you care about that that's really the only difference when it comes to like this price range rtx should not be a consideration whatsoever you just need to raster and have your fun and these are the best ways to do it what's up with the where's all my, where's all my pictures i gotta turn on my there we go. Give me them pictures. There they are. Just run over to Best Buy and grab one of these, $70 off. Such a good time to be buying stuff. It's weird. For your power supply, this one's totally fine. There's also an EVGA, where the f did I put it? For the power supply, 650 watts will get you by just fine with this. If you wanna be able to upgrade to a bigger graphics card in the future, you are gonna want a bigger power supply. But for the money, uh, this Rosewell is gonna be totally fine. The EVGAs are also a really good price if you see those. If you see like a 700 or a 750 watt in this price range, and it's 80 plus certified, then it'll be a good uh, PSU. You know, the, the big brands, Rosewell's good, EVGA's good, Thermaltake's good, um, but there's, and in the in the lower price categories, you know, you go up to the higher price categories and you start getting the Silverstones and stuff like that, uh, which are awesome. So anyway, as far as the case goes, this one has a lot of airflow and the case is very subjective. So I'm just gonna put the one on there and you can really get any case that'll fit all of these parts, but it's a big case. It comes with fans, which I like for the price. You know, really nice to have the three fans pre-installed. Um, it'll fit huge water cooling units if you wanted to upgrade to one of those and do some overclocking. You have a lot of options with a big case like this and really good airflow. So I like the Sama cases. I've used uh, one of their smaller cases. I haven't used this big one, but you know, you got plenty of opportunities to do things under the hood with a big case like this. And the last thing, we still have the sale going on on Epic Pants. So I'll, let me just, I'm gonna get out of here so you can see everything on the screen because now I care all of a sudden. Um, so during the last video, I said 50% off on all the hardware and I'll, I'll do it for one week after this video as well. I said one week after that one, but whenever this video comes out, you have one week, 50% off all this hardware, guaranteed. 
these 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 uh, analog sticks are awesome, guaranteed. I love these things. So that's one of the reasons I got this because it's inexpensive and the analog sticks are amazing. And then we have you know, extremely accurate mice with infrared optical sensors, 3310 and the 3360 are still some of my favorite sensors in the market. This is my favorite right here because it feels kind of like a, a Microsoft IntelliMouse from back in the day. It's a little bigger um, and you can remove the weights on the inside and make it about 90 grams. So here we have mouse pads and all this stuff and our keyboards, the water resistant, extremely silent, different colors and stuff. 50% off with the coupon code WILD. So just type WILD when you're checking out over at epicpants.com. All right, that's enough of all the ads. That's enough of the video. And if you're upgrading right now, let me know what games you're gonna be playing on the upgrade. I don't care as much about the hardware. That's always been my thing. I don't care about the hardware. I care what you're doing with it. So what games are you gonna be playing once you upgrade? What are you looking forward to doing with your hardware? I'm very curious to so let me know in the comments what you're gonna do after you upgrade with the parts that you're getting. We'll see you in the comments. <music>